think this is recording. Um, hi everyone, I know I've been gone for a while, but um, my computer uh, is kind of, a, it's rubbish and old, um, so uh, I can't edit on it. Uh, so I'm filming on my iPad, so the quality is not going to be very good, there's glare, the angles might be weird, the editing's probably going to be shoddy because I don't want to have to pay for Movie Maker or iMovie, whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, sorry that it's been six months that I've filmed, but I'm back. I have like a favourite E-type video. Um, first favourite is that my hair is now vaguely curly. That's always fun. Uh, second favourite is that it is no longer ridiculously hot. That's always fun. Um, what else? I have a um, makeup bag full of makeup y goodiness. Um, <clears throat> first thing is the. Oh, everything's reversed. Oh. First thing is the Laura Mercier um, foundation primer. Uh, I got this with my Birchbox points and I really like it. I've got it under my foundation today um, and yeah, I just like it. Uh, this, I like this right now. This is the new Max Factor Miracle Match um, foundation. It says it blurs and nourishes. I think it does those things. I mean, it's not like the highest coverage. Like, you can still see your skin through it. But I watched someone's video, Sharon Farrell, and she said that it's got, like, uh, sorry about the glare on my glasses, by the way. I'm having to be in front of the window to get light, and that means there's glare. Um, yeah, Sharon Farrell said that this has, like, translucent things in it. So it, like, you can see your skin through it, and that's why it's matchy. Um... And this is in the colour Natural 50, and yeah, I like it. <clears throat> uh, concealers. I really like the um, Maybelline Fit Me concealers right now. I've got 10, which is light, and 15, which is fair. I don't, I don't know why they decided that 10 should be a darker colour than 15, but they did. Um, so I used this one under my eyes and this one like on the rest of my face. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got two Makeup Revolution palettes. That one's back to front. Uh, this one is the Neutrals versus Neutrals, which is backwards, so I don't know why I'm showing you it. Uh, but it is like this. It's got two rows. One is like kind of orangey and one is sort of like more cool toned. And I like it. I'm not done my eyes with it today. But I have been. When I've been wearing eyeshadow, I've been going for that. And the other one is the um, Ultra Contour Palette, uh, which is like that. And it's got like highlighters and setting powders and then bronzers and contours. Mostly you just use this one for setting my under eyes, this one for contouring. And then like I mix this one and this one for highlight. That's what I did today anyway. I don't know. You probably can't tell because I'm just glary. Uh... I have a perfume favourite. This is the Primark um, He Loves Me Eau de Toilette Roll On, I think. It had like poppies on the front. It, it's really nice and kind of warm and like spicy and yeah, I like it. And it was only £2. I don't know if they still have it because um, I bought it. I don't know when, <laughs> but I really like it. Uh, it lives in my handbag. Uh, the powder, I bought this on eBay because even though Essence is now in the UK, they don't sell, tend to sell like the limited edition ranges as much. So this is the Essence Pure Nude Powder in Nude Ivory and it's this kind of like a marbled um, powder that doesn't like kind of super mattify but it just kind of is nice and light and sets your, powder, your foundation down so it's like not sticky and it makes my skin look nice. I mean, so it does still look a little bit shiny. I did powder in the T-zone before with like a more mattifying powder before I started filming this because it was a bit shiny, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> for, uh, I rediscovered that I like gel liner. Um, I rebought the Maybelline one 
Um, because I had like the Rimmel one and like a sleek one and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like jawline. I used to really like it. But it's the Maybelline one. <laughs> the Maybelline one is like really good. Um, I've used it today and it's really easy. I bought like this little kind of angled, you know, the ones that are like angled at the top rather than the bristles. And it was like 99p or something like that off, off, e off eBay. And I used that and it's like you can get a really, really fine line in it. And I, well, I broke it in half. <laughs> because um, I was finding that brushes are too long for me to be able to get close enough to a mirror. So yeah, I broke it in half um, and then I used that and it's really, really, I should have brought it through, but I have put it away. Um, but yeah, gel liner, I like gel liner again. Um, for my eyebrows, I got this in Love Me Beauty Box. Um, it's the Model Color More Brow in medium dark and it has the tiny little wand and it just like sets your brows in place and keeps them there but it doesn't look clumpy or crispy yeah I just really like it uh, mascara mascara and then we'll go with theme well there's two themes we'll do the themes after this M mascara um, I've really been liking the the Maybelline Lash Sensational this is the waterproof one I have the regular one as well this one's newer um, so I've only used it a couple of times, but I still really like the effect it gives. It's got this good. Everyone, everyone in in the world of YouTube has talked about this, but yeah, this is this is the mascara wand, and I like it. And um, yeah, to be honest, most mascaras work quite well with my lashes. I more have the issue with it dropping down, and that's what bothers me more than like, oh, it's not made my lashes big and full and lovely because my lashes are quite long anyway. It's more if it smudges down here is what I've got an issue with. Uh, okay, so first I'll talk about how I own MAC products now. Um, only one of these been, has been bought in the MAC store, the rest have been online. But um, I bought... Me and Alistair went on holiday. Well, we've been on two holidays this summer, but... In the beginning of summer, we went on like a little road trip, and while we were on that road trip, we went to Aberdeen. And while we were going through the shopping centre, there was a Mac store, and I was like, "Oh, we have to go in." Um, so I got a Painterly Paint Pot, and it's really good. It's really soft and creamy, and it just kind of primes your eye really well, and it stays put, and it doesn't crease. And yes, um, but of course now, uh, Maybelline do the dupe of it. And they're colour tattoos, tattoos, so I bought that too. And I have one on one eye and one on the other eye to say. Um, I can't remember which way round. <laughs> but I have done that, so I will update you at some point. I might do a video on it at some point. Um, but, oh. uh, the next thing I bought was on Fragrance Direct. They had loads of um, MAC things. Uh, I got the Luster Lipstick in Plumful which I have been wanting for ages and I'm so glad I have it. It's like a really, really, really natural, like everyday your lips with better colour on me. And yeah, I love it. Um, it yeah, and it started off the next obsession, uh, which the, the last MAC product I own comes into, which is purple. <laughs> you may have been told to tell from my lipstick, but purple. I'm really into purple right now. So this is um, the Full of Joy blush. Looks like that. Like a really light um, shimmery but not like overly... It says it's a frost finish but it's not like too bad um, blush. I don't have a brush through so I can't put some on but yeah I really like it. It's a little bit pale for me so I'm hoping that through the winter it'll be a bit better and I can wear it a bit more but right now it's a little bit pale. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, so the rest of the things I have are purple lipsticks. I'll start with the one that I've got on now. This is the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro Lipstick in in the Liberty Matte. So that's what it looks like. And there's a swatch. You can see it on my lips as well. And it's just a really kind of vibrant, like, um, pinky purple. I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced it looks... <laughs> super good on me but I don't care because I love it so much and yeah these are really nice uh, and creamy and they're not drying and they smell like cake so I like coconut 
Um, yeah, really like these lipsticks. And the other two are Makeup Revolution as well, because I didn't order and basically just ordered everything purple. Uh, this is one of the lip hugs. Is it lip hugs? I think it's lip hugs. Um, and this is in I Wasn't Mixed Up. So it looks like that. And that's it swatched there. So it's like a slightly lighter... Um, on my iPad it's showing up much pinker, but in real life it's cooler. Um, yeah, but this is much more of a sort of wearable, everyday colour. Um, and I think the last thing... Yeah is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Velour Lip Cream and not one for playing games. And this actually came free with the last Makeup Revolution order I did. I didn't pick this, but I am so glad they sent it to me because it is so pretty. Uh, that is it swatch there. Again, it's coming up much warmer on the iPad than it is in real life. It's much more of like a kind of mauve sort of dark mauve but is slightly warmer than pop it on. I'm not very good at describing colours. <laughs> Maybe I'll get better at it when I'm sort of doing videos more. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, those are the things I've been loving right now. Purple, predominantly. Purple <laughs> is the theme of this video. Um, so yeah, those are my current favourite things, I think. Yeah, I don't know I'm looking in the living room, nothing of mine is in here. Um, i trying to think what else. What else have I been liking? Bake Off, Midsummer Murders. Oh, I, ha I've, I started watching Orange is the New Black. I'll just clean my glasses while I say this. I started watching Orange is the New Black and really enjoyed it, but then I, I did a trial to Netflix and it ran out um, when I was like on halfway through season, series two. So that's annoying because I want to keep watching it. Uh, what else? What else have I liked? I went to Wales. I liked Wales. The cheese is good. Uh, and it turns out that um, my grand's family was from the part of Wales we went to, so that was nice. And we met Shire Horses. Uh, horses. Horses are my favourite right now, um, because we went and saw horses, and um, on Sunday, this is Friday, don't want to suckle up, but Alistair is going for his first ever riding lesson, um, <laughs> so I'm going in to give him moral support and tips, so he'll be the best in the beginner's class. Uh, <laughs> because there's like a weight limit on the riding thing, so I'm going to lose weight and join in uh, sometime in the new year. Um, because I don't want to be on horses, too! Uh, what else is good? Mm, can't think of anything else. I'll do maybe like a chatty video, like an updatey type video again, I think. Well, yeah, I'll maybe do like an updatey video at some point to like, not that anything's really changed in my life, but yeah, I might do like a little sit downy chatty video at some point soon, depending on how easy this is to edit. Um, uh, mine, mine. Finishing videos, haven't got any better at it. <laughs> okay, right, finishing now. So those are the things I've been loving right now. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around um, while I've been having technical issues. And I will see you again soon. I promise this time. Like, pinky promise. Pinky promise. I'm going to, like, keep on... Oh, on my nails, by the way, is um, Nails Inc. Gel Effects Hyde Park Place. Or Palace. Can't remember. One of those ones. It's grey. Um, so, yes. Uh, I promise I'm making new videos this time. You can throw things at me if I don't. Mostly the only people who will be able to do that is like Laura and Lucy because they know where I live. Anyway, yes. Thanks for watching. Please like and check out my Instagram. 
and such and that and bye.